Okay, let's uh, look at the cathode angiogram. And before that, some extremely helpful sites I want to mention is the heartsite.com, which had amazingly informative uh, videos, and radiologyassist.netherlands. Uh, thank you so much for the images, that uh, the teaching images. Here we see the uh, anterior, uh, left anterior descending artery and the LCX uh, circumflex artery. Um, the angiogram that we're going to see, uh, my angiogram we're going to see is an x-ray shooting through of the heart. So it would be the mirror image of this, uh, this image here. Here we're looking at uh, the, uh, the coronary catheter angiogram of myself and uh, we see that the lower branch is the LCX or the circumflex artery and the upper branch is the uh, left anterior descending artery. Okay, now we're looking at the, um, uh, the LCX and please note how thin the LCX is and how semi-thin the LAD is in this last shot. Okay, here uh, Dr. Kajiwara and the medical team uh, took a snapshot of the LCX artery and the LAD artery to do computer me measurements to determine the size and the length of the stents that is going to be used. Here is a uh, spider shot uh, video recording of the LAD and the LCX. A spider shot is a front view shot of the of the um, of my heart you can still see how thin the LCX is the LCX is on the uh, right hand side here's another view side view the LCX is at the bottom The arteries are, look kind of thin because they're injecting media into it. The LCX is at the bottom again. And now we're going to look at the right coronary artery. And uh, the right coronary artery, or RCA, is dominant in 85% of the persons in the world. The RCA, or the right coronary artery, is the artery on the left. And we see that the RCA has two branches that go back and that's what makes it the dominant artery in 85% of the individuals. In the image you see a PDA and an AM. The ca catheter angiogram or the RCA, uh, the right coronary artery, this is a side view. And now we see the front view of the RCA before the RCA before they started stenting. Once again, this here's the side view of the RCA. You can kind of see that the top branch is kind of crimped. That is a blockage that is 75% uh, blocked. The right coronary artery again in the front view. And now we're going to look at the angioplasty procedure, which is the ballooning or the inflation of the balloons. The angioplasty of the LCX, or my circumflex artery, that is 75, 90% uh, blocked. And there you see the catheter balloon being pushed back. The catheter balloon has two dots on it, so you can see them expanding it out at the junction where it was really thin. There's a final flow check after they expanded out the LCX, or the circumflex artery. Now Dr. Kajua carefully places the stent in the LCX. You can kind of see a mesh uh, on the balloon itself before they start expanding it out. You see that the Nakagami team is now expanding out the stent on the LCX. You see how much thicker it's getting and staying with the stent in place. They're expanding the stent one more time. 
and now they're going to do a flow check on the LCX. See it looks much thicker, the junction looks much thicker. Now they're going to fix the LAD, with the left anterior descending artery. First the balloon catheter is expanding out to the LAD artery. The LAD artery was 75% blocked. They're really uh, placing the stent in the LAD and they're expanding it out. You can kind of see how big and puffy it is. They're doing a flow check on the left anterior descending artery or the LAD and it's back up to 100% now. The two stents are 90 degrees from each other. The stents are in a T configuration. Confirming that the meshes are interlocked, balloon catheters will be placed in and expanded again once again. So we see the two dots again where the balloons are located and they're putting media in and they're going to expand the balloon out. They're expanding the balloon out to make sure that the stent and the LCX is good. Now they're putting the uh, uh, balloon back into the LAD and they're expanding the LAD stent out to make sure that it interlocks with the LCX or the circumflex artery. Now they're going to do a spider flow sh shot verification of the stent placement. They're injecting media into it. You see the LCX and the LAD, the flow, it looks uh, really good right now. Here's a, a, a side shot of both the LAD and the LCX, the final shot. Now we'll look at the final verification flow check. Looks good. At this point I want to say that the Nakagami team repaired the circumflex artery and the LAD and they cleared uh, the critical blockages in my heart. Well the RCA is uh, going to be repaired in uh, later months and uh, I just want to say that if you're feeling any kind of pain please make sure that you go see your doctor right away. Don't delay, uh, this, uh, this could uh, save your life.